are a couple ways to navigate to the current assets. One, you can click the view all button from the current assets tile on the dashboard, or you can navigate to it from any screen by clicking the finances and then clicking the asset tile. Here you will find the trust assets as well as the beneficiary assets. If you have a self account, then there will be trust assets and instead of beneficiary assets, it will say personal assets. In order to add an asset, click an asset, add asset next to the type of asset it's going to be. So in this case, a trust asset, choose from the drop down the type of asset it is, complete the information, choose the vesting type, what percentage of the value will be allocated to the trust and the value. If this asset does not increase with inflation, uncheck this box. And if this asset has debt, check the box and enter the amount of debt currently on the asset. Then click create record. The asset will then be listed in the list of assets here. If you need to update or change anything on that asset, click edit. Make the update and click update record. You can see that is reflected here in the list. If you need to delete that asset, click the delete button. If you accidentally hit the delete button, then you can simply click the cancel button. If you really do want to delete it, then confirm by deleting in the, in the pop-up and you'll see it removed from the list. You follow the same steps for beneficiary assets, except when you click add asset, it needs to be this button here next to beneficiary assets. One other thing you can do is link your bank accounts. So click link assets and this will take you to Plaid. Click the agreement to their privacy policy, choose your bank from the drop down, and then you will enter in your online credentials for your bank. There will be a verification process that you will follow and then it will bring you back to the screen and you will choose whether it's a beneficiary asset or a trust asset. That asset will then be in the list correspondingly.